Let's cross now to Canberra and speak to Dr Malcolm Davis. He's a senior analyst in defence strategy and capability issues at the Australian Strategic Policy Institute. Dr Davis, when will this sub be fully operational and what kind of capabilities will it have? Well, look, it will take time to work up, as with any complex piece of military hardware, uh, the, the systems have to be installed, uh, the, the ship has to, the boat has to be uh, deployed to sea and ensure that it's seaworthy. So I would imagine that uh, it would be at least a year away probably from being operationally deployed. And the Taiwanese have indicated, you know, three of these submarines by 2027. That date is significant because 2027 is the year that uh, Xi Jinping has told the PLA they have to be ready to invade Taiwan. Now, China, of course, knew this was coming, but how do you think they'll react both in the short term and looking further ahead? Look, you know, the Chinese have a massive submarine fleet, including significant numbers of nuclear submarines. Uh, they're building up this submarine fleet of their own, as well as any submarine warfare capabilities. So I'm not sure that they'll see three uh, Taiwanese submarines necessarily as a game changer in the greater uh, order of things in terms of the balance across the strait. But I do think that they will recognise that uh, if the Taiwanese can get three of these submarines that are equipped with advanced propulsion systems, that are, are quiet and equipped with advanced weapons, then that does complicate their ability to use naval blockade or use uh, sea power to assault Taiwan, from, particularly from the East Coast. Uh, and I think that it will it will make uh, make it more difficult for them to actually take Taiwan uh, in in a military sense. And what implications does this have for defence and security across the wider region? I think it reinforces uh, the observation that uh, Taiwan is recognising the threat that's mounting against it. Uh, you're seeing uh, Chinese uh, intrusions into Taiwan's air defence identification zone and across the uh, essentially the uh, main, main, main line of control within the, the Taiwan Strait on a daily basis. The Chinese are clearly preparing for military operations against Taiwan, whether it's in the form of a naval blockade or seizing offshore islands or ultimately a full-on invasion of Taiwan. That is clearly their plan. And so the Taiwanese are preparing for that. I think it will reinforce the perception of other states in the region, such as Japan, South Korea, the United States and Australia, uh, that we need to take this threat by China seriously and we need to put in place the sorts of assets and capabilities and measures to deter China from using force so that in the end we avoid that war from happening in the first place. Dr Davis in Canberra for us, thank you. Thank you.